I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. To change everything, it only takes a few from left, right, and center. Famously, American surfing issues too often settle for superficialities, thus often missing the depth of truth. Chief Justice Roberts confessed the egregious reality of the leaked abortion draft, written by Justice Alito, who believes Roe v. Wade was egregiously wrong from the start, akin, perhaps, to the egregiously misleading government is the problem, mission accomplished, and America first. Either way, we now know there is a distinct difference between our two major political parties, and we have been given the knowledge is power freedom to choose which America we want to be. There is no denying we are a nation divided against itself, choosing to make every incident dramatically inflated on television, honey, on the palate of today's caliber of media talking heads, eagerly embracing repetition that often mesmerizes with gushing garrulous gossip. What is America's weakest link between a self-determining American electoral process and the exceptionalism of America's dream of one person, one vote? Is it independence of both left and right, believing straddling the middle makes them untarnished by the tendency to ignore, or at least fail to prioritize, justice for all? Or is it a lack of concern for fellow Americans by non-voters? The answer is as simple as the means by which we are manipulated into serving as the swingers of our national political pendulum from extreme to extreme, ever-increasing defining ourselves, neither this nor that. Given recent examples of Putin's unjustified and brutal invasion of Ukraine and his American clone, Donald Trump, mastering the art of the deal to steal the ability of a third of Americans to discern between the truth and the con. We can no longer afford to elect senators who can't discern the difference between honest testimony and the lies told by lying nominees nominated to the Supreme Court by our lying 45th president. Perhaps with even greater urgency, we can't afford to elect politicians who know the difference between the lie and the truth and choose to perpetuate the big lie which incited treasonous insurrectionists on January 6, 2021 to attempt to hang a sitting vice president. Can we really continue to pretend that justice can exist for all in a land where women, African Americans, Asians, Latinx, Native Americans, and the mentally and physically challenged are treated as second-class citizens, and where seniors of every hue are too often ignored to death? Here is a much-needed reality check. 1. The government's problem is an electorate believing the elected are ensconced in lifetime positions. 2. Arguably, free will is a divine calling to also preserve, protect, and defend life post-birth, including after children age out of our social health systems. 3. It's not Asian Americans who cause death by COVID, but the Americans who refuse to be vaccinated and wear a mask. 4. It's not black, brown, or LGBTQ Americans who so hate. It's MAGA conservatives whose greatest fear is being the minority. 5. It's not passionately defending your beliefs. It's those who violently refuse others the same freedom of expression. 6. What harms students of all ages is not sex education, but a lack of school funding and historical facts. In the four years I lived with the finest television writer with whom I've ever worked, I became the father of her amazing six-year-old daughter, who taught me how to answer her life questions with wisdom that only came to me because of her. 1. Always listen to the children. 2. Find happiness in all you do. 3. Everything, absolutely everything our children do, comes from observing and mimicking us, because even before they reach their double digits, they are formed by all the things we've forgotten we were as well as all the things we've become. As our infrastructure, children must be protected from all harm. But in today's divided America, more are harmed by ignorance, fear, 
gun violence, and deniers of a global pandemic and climate change that will kill even more than one million Americans. Like the children featured in Youth vs. Gov, I too believed the buck that has bought so many red state governors and legislators and rented so many conservative members of both houses of Congress would always stop within the hallowed halls of the Supreme Court. But we must now admit that that has not been true since Senator Mitch McConnell denied President Obama his constitutional duty to nominate to America's Supreme Court Merrick Garland. Yes, politically, it could matter who released Alito's draft, but more importantly, why now? And most importantly, what does our civic and political duty require us to do and be? Now that the iceberg tip has titanically warned of an imminent collision with collusion, let us first cease aiding and abetting self-serving politicians whose supporters twist the words of the most famous man from Nazareth, and instead let us live the pragmatic and miraculous wisdom of love thy neighbor as thyself. Thank you, and join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world.